I mean, you maintain a buy rating, but you have lowered your price target now from 60 to $58, which is sort of a rounding error, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was almost 60 yesterday, yeah, yeah. and the results are definitely disappointing, you know, from our perspective, from the company's perspective, and clearly from the street's perspective. All right. Uh, they're also a reinvestment story. They've been doing that, but the, the big strike against them is they're a department store. Nobody likes department stores anymore, right? Well, I, I think there's best of breed in department stores, and I think they also have the off-mall positioning. And, and I think from the leadership perspective, Michelle Goss is, you know, is an outstanding executive. And I think you know, this was Jill Tim's first call as the CFO. And I think this team, you know, they're, they're willing to take risks. They're willing to try new things. They've got a lot of good initiatives. And, and in the stores, there's a lot of new merchandising initiatives that they started launching in the fall. You know, and I think as they gain traction, you know, the, the customer should respond favorably to those initiatives. When I spoke with Michelle Gosh, she did point to the 20 new brands. And she said, look, we have to lean in. Kohl's is a place for value, but there has to be good product when consumers show up. I mean, how big of a difference can that make if you have exclusive brands, but they're new to the customer? I mean, how long does it take for them to warm up to buying those goods? Well, I think the Kohl's customers really, you know, they, they focus on value, too. So you have to have good brands and add great value. And, and I think... That's part of what they're still trying to, you know, get right in this highly promotional environment. And I think when you think through this last quarter, you know, August they said was fine, but September was warm. There was a lot of disruption with some of the new launches and re-merchandising of some of the categories. I think that all added up to, you know, a better October, but it wasn't good enough. And, and I think from the, the, the merchandising standpoint, they do have some new good launches coming. And, and I think the Scott Living piece, you know, the Coolabor by Ugg and Soft Home and the Nine West piece, it's, it's different merchandise, so it will take some time. They're spending more money on marketing and, and trying to you know, get the new customers in. You know, we haven't talked about the Amazon yeah, returns. Well, Amazon. now we are, okay. uh, <laughs> because uh, my wife has been to Kohl's three times in the past week, and it was every time to return something to Amazon, but she went to Kohl's. Yeah. Fantastic. Did she walk out with anything yes. else? Uh, well, we'll find out here in about an hour. <laughs> She's there now, yeah. as a matter of fact. But the foot traffic is there, yeah. but are the sales following? Well, I mean, I think they did. There was a 360 basis point improvement from the first half of the year. So they were, you know, you know minus 3.2 to plus 0.4. So they returned to growth. So there is, you know, the positive piece. They're clearly going for market share, and they're going to be promotional. I think the environment is always promotional, heightened promotional activity, competitive in the fourth quarter. And, and Kohl's has a history of actually winning when it comes to sort of value and being promotional and aggressive, and, and we think that they will. We think that they have enough new initiatives um, to really you know, move the ball forward. Michelle Goss had said when I spoke to her that they are seeing some new customers come in sort of at a higher rate than they normally see a new customer come in when they're making that Amazon return and that they need to try to deliver on that value piece, which is why they lowered their earnings to give themselves some room to, it sounds like, take some more price cuts if they need to going into this promotional fourth quarter. Is that the right move to win the market share? Oh, I, I do think so. I mean, I, I think... You know, you, you want them to make money. I think she's also said that they will return to profitable growth next year as well. And, and so, look, I, I think the environment is set up to be pretty promotional. And, and I think they're very realistic. They were actually one of the first retailers to cut the guidance earlier in the year. And they see the need to do it again. Um, you know, it's disappointing from our perspective. But I think they're doing the right things longer term. And I think th these guys are winners long term. Very good.